The Bad Boy Pistons era was coming to an end in the early 90s, but thereafter, the NBA team representing the Motor City drafted a magnificent basketball talent in Grant Hill to begin a new era. However, the Pistons with Hill never made it past the first round in the playoffs. Hill would leave for Orlando as darker days seemed to be on the horizon, but interestingly, that would not be the case at all. After the 1999-2000 season, Grant Hill informed the Detroit Pistons that he is signing with the Orlando Magic. What transpired was a sign and trade by the new Pistons GM Joe Dumars. The two players Detroit received from Orlando made this look like such a lopsided deal at the time. But Hill would only play 47 games in his first four years with the Magic, and on the other hand, Ben Wallace would arguably become the best defender and rebounder in the 2000s, and Chucky e. Atkins would become the starting point guard who took care of the ball and could score from the outside. The Pistons finished the 2000-2001 season ranking first in pace but ended up with a 30-52 record. During the season, Jerry Stackhouse was averaging nearly 30 points a game and basically said he wanted to win the scoring title, which is looked at by some as being selfish. Stackhouse finished second for the NBA scoring title as it was Allen Iverson who finished first. For the 2001-2002 season, the Pistons hired Rick Carlisle as a new head coach who would slow down the pace and Stackhouse would get about 7 fewer shots a game. The starting lineup would basically be the same as the previous season, except Detroit would acquire Cliff Robinson who was in his mid-30s but could still score and defend. Prior to the season, only 7 teams had worse odds than the Pistons to win the NBA championship, but surprisingly, this Pistons team won the Central Division with a 50-32 and record. Now here's the fascinating thing to me. The Pistons became a division winner with three starters who went undrafted in Ben Wallace, Chucky e. Atkins, and Michael Curry, who is known for being a defender and a respected leader. This Pistons team has always stuck with me, and maybe I'm over-exaggerating this a little, but this is somewhat impressive and uncommon for a team with three undrafted starters to win a division title. Detroit will lose to Boston in five games in the Eastern Conference semifinals. Afterwards, the Pistons did draft Tayshaun Prince, who did not play a lot during his rookie season, but would become an excellent defender. Then before the 2002-2003 season, Dumars made a surprising move by trading Jerry Stackhouse in a six-player deal that resulted in Richard Hamilton coming to the Motor City. Stackhouse was a better ISO scorer, but in a Pistons uniform, Rip Hamilton really showed how good he was moving without the ball and coming off screens. The Pistons also signed Chauncey Billups on only a $35 million deal. Billups at this point was a journeyman player and was seen as a player not living up to the expectations as the third overall pick in 1997, but obviously Billups really found a home in Detroit. Now the Pistons would finish once again with a 50-32 record, but this time they made it to the Eastern Conference Finals but got swept by the Nets. After the season, Carlisle was shockingly fired and from my understanding it was due to some issues with ownership. For the 2003-2004 NBA season, Larry Brown would be the new head coach and during that season, Dumars acquired Rasheed Wallace in a three-team trade. Detroit ended up with the second best record in the East as the Pacers won the Central Division. This was a Pistons starting lineup going into the playoffs which was completely revamped in such a short period of time by Joe Dumars and it led to the Pistons making it to the NBA Finals. They would face an LA Lakers team that was heavily favored. This Lakers team had of course Shaq and Kobe but also acquired Karl Malone and Gary Payton who were trying to win their first rings. Nonetheless, and in short, Detroit was outstanding as they won the series in five games with a tremendous defensive performance. The Detroit Pistons were the 2004 NBA champs. Originally, this video was going to be about the 2001-2002 Detroit Pistons winning the Central Division with their three undrafted starters. But then I decided to shift and mention how great of a job GM Joe Dumars did building a championship team. Now I understand the heavy criticism for drafting Darko Milicic second overall in 2003, but aside from that, Dumars did one of the best jobs ever building a championship team and perhaps a sport that it's most difficult to do. This title I think changed the perception that you don't need a top tier NBA player or what many would call a superstar to win an NBA championship and that you don't need high draft picks. Prior to this NBA title, you would have to go back to perhaps the Seattle Supersonics in 1979 who won an NBA championship without a top tier NBA player. But somehow, Joe Dumars was able to find five players who could mesh so well together offensively and defensively. Real quick, I just want to thank all those who have supported 90 Sports Nostalgia. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and check out the links below for Patreon and merch. Thank you so much. The Detroit Pistons in the early 2000s. 
Joe Dumars did an impressive job building a championship team.